So we talked about daily undulating periodization just now. And remember, that's where you change the training phases. A hypertrophy type day, a power type day, and a strength type day within a week, looking at the definitions for each of those training types that we gave in the last unit. Now let's talk about daily undulating programming. Now programming, we said, was repetition variations within microcycle or mesocycle, but we still follow the overall trends of linear periodization. So what does that mean exactly? We're simply undulating the repetitions, and there's infinite ways to do this. So, Somebody has a training frequency of twice a week. Well, in this block, we're in a volume block. If you remember from our integrated figure, volume is early in the macro cycle. We're going to do higher reps. So training twice a week, Monday and Thursday. We gave this example last unit. Somebody's doing 10 reps on Monday and is doing seven reps on Thursday. That's undulating programming. And then they do that for four weeks. And the next block, they go down to doing nine reps on Monday and six reps on Thursday. That's a linear progression, but undulating programming or undulating the reps. So, we can see this example here. In this example, the individual's training three times a week. And we're looking at sets times repetition. So we have four sets of eight, five sets of six, and six sets of four. The four there in orange is the repetitions, and it's showing you we have eight, six, and four. I call this a simple undulation pattern. So next time you go to the gym and somebody asks what supplements you can take, you can say, supplements are stupid, but what's your undulation pattern? See what the look on their face is. So there's no typical power day here. But the repetition still classifies DUP, but we need to distinguish it, even though a lot of the literature doesn't. We need to distinguish it as programming rather than periodization, because periodization is long-term trends. And if you think about it, periodization actually dictates your programming. Right? If you want to know if you should do higher or lower sets and reps, well, how do you figure that out? Well, if you, where are you in your periodization macro cycle? Are you early in it? Well, then you know your programming is going to be higher reps. Are you later in it? Then your programming is going to be lower reps. There's unlimited possibilities for an undulation pattern. And what determines if your undulation pattern training three days per week is going to be 15, 12, 10, or 5, 3, and 1. 15, 12, 10 is high reps, meaning volume. So that's early in a macro cycle. And then later in a macro cycle, your undulation pattern would be lower reps. So progression, implementation, and autoregulation. Well, we've talked so much about integration. And now that we understand the difference between periodization and programming, we can talk even more. We mentioned block periodization. If we think volume crosses intensity, the point where volume is higher than intensity, that's a preparatory phase where we do volume blocks in terms of block periodization. And when intensity crosses volume, that's a peaking phase where we do intensity blocks. But the last thing to put in here are autoregulation. And we know that DUP can be implemented into blocks with an overall linear component. But in terms of autoregulation, we mentioned only one type of autoregulation so far, which is to choose the daily training session based upon your energy levels or how you feel. Right? But the next thing that we need to work in here is RPE, or rating of perceived exertion. So if we think back to our integrated figure now, and we have volume higher than intensity, well, that's our preparatory block or our preparatory phase when we're running volume blocks. But again, volume works on repeating efforts. So if you have an RP of 10, a max effort on the first set, and we'll go over the RPE scale soon. If you have an RP of 10 on the first set with 100 kilos for eight repetitions, well, if you were to perform eight repetitions again, you're going to probably have to decrease the load to 95 or 90 kilos. Well, if you do a first set with an RPE of 8 at 100 kilos, you could probably maintain that for multiple sets, meaning you're going to accumulate more volume at a higher intensity if you keep your RPEs lower. This is an inverse relationship with the amount of volume you're doing and the RPEs that you should have. The higher the volume, the lower the RPE. The higher the intensity, the higher the RPE. So there's a direct relationship between intensity and RPE. But we can see this is our new foundations. This is our integrated figure that we're going to work off of. The changes in programming from day to day, if we have that 8, 6, 4 undulation pattern, right? If, so if you have 8s on Monday, and then let's say you have that at 70%, 6 is Wednesday, 75%, 4 is Friday, 80%, you can see within a week how volume and intensity change. But then you go back to the next week, you're doing 8s again at the beginning of the week, they change again. But then you do that from block to block, let's say the next block you're going 6, 4, and 2. Well, remember, this was 8, 6, 4, and then the next week, 8, 6, 4. But overall, in the next block, 6, 4, 2, volume is here, intensity is here. The next block, let's say 5, 3, 1, volume is here, intensity is here. It's structuring mesocycles, so you have that variation of programming, but things decrease gradually in terms of volume and increase in terms of intensity over time.